This is a segment where we take a look at a board game based on an IP, and I tell you if the IP and the mechanisms match. Today we're looking at Thunder Road Hot Wheels Edition. On your turn, you're gonna roll the two six-sided dice, and you can move each of your cars one spot. So I could use like the three here, one, two, three, and then the other one can move one space or vice versa. So each die will move one of your cars. You can't share space with somebody and you can't go through them. Once per turn, you can put a sandstorm out and it will block the other people. The way to win the game is very easy. If you're able to get to the third board, so it'll be a third board here, and you come off the end of it, then the backboard will be taken off, the other boards will be moved down, and anything on that backboard will be eliminated from the game. All of those people lose. If both of your cars are eliminated, you're out of the game, and you want to be the last car standing. So that's kind of how that's going to work. Normally, I wouldn't take a look at a game that just slaps Hot Wheels on it, or Monopoly does something like that, and it's just the core game. But this one is interesting enough to talk about because they do take what was an off-brand Mad Max and throw Hot Wheels on it. And by doing so, they get rid of the helicopters, and they get rid of all of the combat, and turn it into just a racing game with subpar components. So Thunder Road was a game that was like Mad Max, where you're shooting and helicopters were coming down, and you were rolling dice to see if you hit people, and there was a lot of excitement in that kind of street combat with cars. All of that has been eliminated into just a racing game. You can throw wind at people or a sandstorm if you want to, but it has lost the flavor of that Mad Max. It has lost the world of Thunder Road. So the Hot Wheels thing really doesn't work in what, remember, the original game is be. As for a Hot Wheel racing game, I suppose it works well enough. There's just a lot better racing games out there. And it doesn't do anything for the Thunder Road. So whether you're looking at the Hot Wheels as being the IP or maybe you're looking at Thunder Road as being the IP, neither of them is worth it in this game and neither of them works or match with what you're doing in this game. Awful experience, awful game, and we'll be waiting patiently for the Restoration Games version of Thunder Road.